Hurricane Love. I'm preparing my um, tools here to water my plants while I'm on vacation. So this, th this right here is um, fish tank hose, right? So um, that's the size of it. Um, I'll mention the size when I post the video because I don't have information right now. And this right here is the cord. I made sure to look at the size of the cord. I'll tell you also. Anyway, so this is the cord. And I inserted, I cut, I first I measured the tubing in the pot um, closest to the jar. It's a mason's jar of water. I'm going to put put it in the jar like this. Put it in the jar. Oh, sorry. This is the um, syringe um, that I use to moisten the cord because you have to moisten the cord. So I um, use a syringe to pump water in there because you need the thread to be stiff when you're inserting in the tube. So um, I kind of use some like, you know, it stopped. It, it was going in there when I was pushing it with the thread, but it stopped after a little bit. So I use this needle point here to push it and then I shake it, put water in it to have, make it a little heavy, to make the cord a little heavy there. And then I shake it down while I push it. So that way it keeps going down. But anyway, if you have some long tube or I mean long wire that could push it down, you could do it also. If, a long, very long, slender wire. You just push it in there and push the cord down so you can get it. And you knot the ends, right? You put a knot at the end so the cord doesn't come up through this tube because it's too big to come up, all right? So you put your knot it. You knot both ends, right? And um, I'm going to um, show you the rest of it. I filled up a mason's draw with... Um, filtered rainwater to get rid of the mosquito larva because I don't want any mosquitoes hatching in there so I filter the water out and then pour it in the mason's jar rainwater okay and then I am going to put one end in here right all the way down in. sorry about that yeah anyway and then I'm going to uh oops Put this here, but I'm going to use a stake to hold it down. I mean, I could use it, push the tube in, in here, but I want it to stay down. I'm sorry, I want, I want you to see it, yeah. So I put the other end in the plant, all right? So this is my experiment before I go on vacation to make sure it works. All right, so the other end is going to be here. So I'm going to, um, I guess I can push the tube down since it's, I can like push it. I was going to use this, uh, I bought me some stakes, some plastic stakes here. These, but it's so huge. I was trying to get the tiniest one, but I'm thinking I'm going to like do this. just to bury i just did that i use a stake plastic stake to bury the cord in the in there so just in case yeah the tubing is to um keep the cord from wetting up everywhere so make sure the tube in the mason's jar is all the way down and by the way i'm i'm going to put like a uh, um saran wrap or any kind of plastic wrap over this just to keep the mosquitoes out, you know. And even though, um, anyway, I'm going to put some lavender seeds around just to keep them away. Yeah, but anyway, um, yeah, so this is my experiment. I moistened the cord first before I did that. So, um, yeah, I showed you how I did it with the syringe first. Uh, because you want to put the cord in the tube before... It gets wet because it's easier to push the cord down when it's dry. And you could use a wire, a slender wire to push the cord down because it may stop at a certain point, which it did with me. And I didn't have time to search for a slender wire. So I just used that needle that I, I showed you and pushed it and then shook it until it came out at the other end. Okay. 
So um, once you have the cord in the tubing, which is to protect it, prevent the water from splashing, dripping from the cord, in you know on on the place in the place you know so I put the put it in the tubing, and um, this is what I did. <laughs> so willing, the water will moisten, keep moistening this and do its job. <laughs> I'm willing that will happen. <laughs> so that's my experiment. So I'm going to do this for the next plant, next to the other plant next to it. Yeah, I want to put the thing close enough so um, the tubing is sufficient because I bought only so many. Yeah, I may have to order more, but I have to experiment to see how it works. All right, and 13 out for now. <laughs> I wanted to show you my experiment for watering my plant. <laughs> I may need another tube in there because um, I don't know how moist that's going to get. All right. But you remember, got to soak the cord. But you want to soak it after you put it in a tube. So you, you want to get the cord in the tube first while it's dry and kind of stiff. Not stiff, but, you know, dry enough to go down when you start pushing it. And uh, moisten it after. And you could use the syringe like I did or the ne huge needle and pu pu pull water in it and just pour it in the tube or... Just run it under the faucet and just just to moisten it because you need to moisten the cord first. Okay, so continue suck up the water, sucking up the water. All right, and thirty enough now. Okay, so I tied the knot to the end of a tiny stone, the end of the other end of the knot, so it'll stay at the bottom because that one and that tube looks like it's not all the way to the bottom. So I'm going to tie that one with a stone, with a tiny stone like this to keep it at the bottom. So I'm gonna submerge. Okay, so I submerged the other oh, end of the tube with the rock, the tiny rock in the water. So it's keeping the tube down there so it won't come up. So now I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, bury this end in here and then I'm going to use a stake to hold down the cord. Okay, let me get the stake. Sorry, let me go get the stake. I should have had it handy. Okay, so I have the stake now and I'm going to, let me see here, put it at the end of this here and push it down in the dirt. So I use this to push the core down in the dirt to keep it there. All right, so now I have, I'm <clears throat> watering two different plants, one on the left and one on the right. This cord is out, it's a little long as you can see, but it'll still work because I noticed it's the, the 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 dirt is already moist. It wasn't that because I watered it last night, but it kind of dried up. So it looks like something is happening here. Um, I don't know if you can see, but the dirt looks kind of moist. Okay, so something is happening. <laughs> okay, so we'll see. This is my experiment before I go on vacation. So we'll see how it works. So as you can see, the tiny rocks. I tied the, the um, end of the cord to the tiny rocks to hold the, the tubing down because it was coming up a little bit. I want to keep it at the bottom so it'll always, water is always coming up. Okay, so the dark stuff you see in it, those are dirt because I took the rocks out of the dirt. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, yeah, so um, that's what I did. So willing this keep my plants moistened while I'm on vacation. So that's let me take this mason jar for the other one. So I have um two over here because these are together and there's another one over here. So I'm gonna get a long enough cord to stretch from there to all the way down there or get another mason's jar.